Right, well, we're just passing Fort Sweetenham, and we have a ship spotted bearing 000, so it is immediately in front of us. Or well, the two of them are immediately in front of us. So, we're just going to keep going on this course, because, you know, why the hell will we change? And then we're going to go to the forward AA gun, and blow them out of the water, because we can! So, that was the worst course you ever picked, wasn't it? Poor sandpans. Oh well. Now they're going to die. Destroyed. And the next one. Destroyed. Well, I'm not going to say no to a few extra tons. Why the hell would I? Right, we're approaching Singapore. We have got a small convoy right ahead of us, which means sampans. And we are not far away either. So, that should be close enough. We've got a radar contact somewhere else as well, but that's fine. We're just going to deal with these guys first. Alright, this guy by the looks of it. Do you have a friend, sampan? Or are you the lonely sampan too? Enemy unit destroyed. Um, yep, he's got a friend over there. Let's use the aft AA gun for this one. There he is. There we go. Enemy unit destroyed. Right then, is that all of them? No, there's another one over there. To the third sampan. Did that hit him? Uh, can't be far away. A little bit higher. Ah, that one hit him. Right, it's going to be difficult to hit him at that range, so I'm just going to quickly adjust the course to go after him, because, you know, why not? Oh, he sunk anyway, fair enough. Let's not bother then. Let's, uh, let's get back on course towards Singapore, which is not far away now. We're only 20 miles away, so we should be getting... Ah, well, there's something over there. Ah, that is a destroyer over there. So... I would not be surprised if he comes over in this direction. Uh, we get a whole bunch of readings from Singapore. What kind of readings have we got? We've got a gunboat, a couple of merchants there, sub chaser, another merchant. Okay, well look, we've only got one destroyer guard. So, it looks like he's going straight across. So we're going to adjust course to go over here. And hopefully, we can catch him on this route. So, let's plot down his course, which is something like that. So if we can catch him here, that'd be fantastic. Uh, let's, let's go there, actually. The chances of me being able to do this are minimal, but we're going to give it a go anyway. Right, so that's the sort of range I'm looking at. And that is, of course, periscope depth, periscope up. That is, of course, if he doesn't spot me first. Oh, or change course, which he has done. So, all of this stuff is now completely worthless. Because he is now all the way over there. Right, I need my course adjustment thing. Let me go over there. Now, where did he go? Hmm, I don't know where he went. This is disturbing. I do not like not knowing where my enemies have gone. Now where is he going? He is coming straight towards me, which is lovely. Um, right. Can I see him? I doubt it. Um, 
No. No, I can't. That's, no. Not even worth trying at this, uh, this time of night. Right, well, if he is coming straight at me... No. Don't want that one. I want that. I want to go up here and see where is he going. He is coming. Let's get the pencil out. I haven't done this in a while. There. There. And round about there. Let's see what kind of course that sets. Somewhere around there. Like that. Let's move this so it's actually going through that line. So something like that. And oops. Right, so range from there would be somewhere around there. So actually, if I reverse and turn right, yes, sir. as long as he stays on that course, I want to switch to straight now because I think I've gone over too much anyway. Yep, I have. Let's see. Oh no, he's uh, he's again moving inwards. Okay, belay that then. We can return to course. Get rid of that because that is again worthless. Now where the hell is he going? Right, so he goes up round there. Then he's going to come out down here somewhere. Going pretty much along those lines again. And then he may come up behind me. In fact, he should come up behind me. So I'm going to stop here. And what I'm going to do, while I'm here, I'm going to lock on to these things, take pictures. And, oh, we completed the, uh, the objective. So that's good. And my mouse died again. Lovely. Thank you, mouse. That's really helpful. Thank you. Right. Okay, so that is actually... That's a large modern tanker. Don't know what that is, come at the wrong angle to really identify it, but that is definitely a large modern tanker. There is apparently another ship here somewhere, that could be it. Very far away though, that's also looking a bit like a ship. Oh, that definitely looks like a ship. Um, that could also be another large modern tanker, if I'm honest. But I don't know. Uh, I'd need to get closer, and there's something over there too. But that looks far more like a sub chaser, which is quite likely actually. And can I see the destroyer which should be coming up behind me? Thank you, Wave. That was helpful. Right. Ah, yep, there he is. And where's he going? He's actually coming towards me, ish. And actually, he's like, like right behind me now. Uh, maybe not right behind me, but he is behind me nonetheless. Another ship spotted, fair enough. Don't particularly care right now, I've got other problems. Let's just get him closer so I can see where he's going. And hopefully... Oh, that's really quite close. Uh, let's lock him. Let's get his angle, which is somewhere like that that. His range is something like that. Speed I'm gonna say I'm gonna say eight knots. Thank you mouse. And after oh we've only got one aft torpedo. Um okay. Wow that range is way off. And the angle's way off too. Right. Uh, let's remove that. Range Put it there. Thank you, mouse. I get the idea. You're dying. I need to buy a new one. I know. Right. Let's see. Now that range is way off. Let's uh, range him above where he is. Then see if that gets him any closer. Yes, that's that's apparently perfect, but it isn't. Right. Um, well, apparently if I shot there, I may well hit him. 
I'm going to put one right there and see if I've got any luck. If I do have some luck, he's going to run straight into it and it looks like I do have some luck. Thank you, Mouse. Much appreciated. I do have some very good luck. That is gorgeous. One torpedo, one impact, I think, possibly, one destroyer kill. Don't know for sure, but it does look very promising. I don't see any lifeboats, but he does appear to be stopping. Or at least slowing down quite severely. Let's see. He's going in a straight line, and that's always a good indicator once they've been hit with a torpedo. So, let's go over here and have a look. He looks... He looks fairly immobilised if he's not destroyed. Well, he's definitely not destroyed, because I would know about it if he was. But he's definitely not turning. His, his, his propellers are not turning. So he, he's been immobilised for certain. He's definitely been immobilised. But he hasn't been destroyed. But I will take immobility. The question is, is it going to go further than immobility? And actually sink him? Oh, hello. This is propeller started again. Yes, his propellers have started again. Okay, so he's not going to be destroyed by that. And he is going to come and try and get me. So I'm going to go emergency back and left. Because at that kind of... No, damn it, that's not what I wanted to do. <laughs> I wanted to go right, not left. Dolt, that was dumb. Let's see if we can turn in time. I think we can, possibly and go left quickly yeah that's going to be really close bulkhead damage and he rammed us whoa what the hell's going on there I don't know wow deck charges right on top of me where are we yep damage the flat gun damage something else what's been damaged whoa lots of stuff okay let's get, let's get this guy out whoa 32% hull damage which probably means we've got a huge hole somewhere in the ship but where? where is the ship? there it is do we have a big hole anywhere? no we seem to be alright but this guy needs to die um, he's already behind me which is great men down on the deck that doesn't sound good Let's put on Medic. Oh, yeah, he is injured badly. Uh, oh, he's got zero health. He may actually be dead. Hmm. Okay, well, he's the only one who's, like, actually down. We'll see if he's dead or not. Um, yeah. Oh, well. Right. Well, I have no aft torpedoes, so this is really awkward. Right. Forward and right because he's going to try and come around behind me. Electric engines repaired. Oh, that's good. Right. Emergency back. Where is he? Whoa. Settle down. Right. Zoom out. Angle. Like that. Range. That. Speed. 10. Open forward tubes. And he's already in front of me. Great. Let's change to there then. No, shoot the other side, please. No, no, the other side. Okay, unlock, relock. That's better. Right, I'll put one there. Okay. 
Okay, he's just stopped turning. Okay. Let's go forward then. And that one's going to miss, but only just. It's very close. But it did just miss. So... Right. Range. There. Angle. That. Speed. Slower than that. That looks pretty good. Let's put one right there. That looks pretty good to me. Oh, 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 is that going to hit him? Yes, it is. That has to finish him off, surely. Two torpedoes for a destroyer should be enough. Really should. Oh, yeah, he's on fire badly. Boom. Yeah, that was one tough cookie. But he is now dead and going to the bottom. He may have killed one of our gunners though, which should be quite irritating. Actually, I don't want to put that thing down, do I? I do, however, want to remove the, the spread and turn that off. And now I want to go and check how many torpedoes I've got left. Uh, seven, which is okay. Now I know that there is a large modern tanker over here, so we're going to return to course, turn around. Why the hell are we at flank speed? I guess I just didn't turn it down. That'll do it. Put the scope back up. Tube 6 is loaded. Good. Right then, let's see what we've got. It's now 1 in the morning. So. Let's see what we have. That's the destroyer. That's a sandpan. Um, right, where's the port? Over here. Right, there is a... That's a medium old tanker. It should be up here somewhere. Medium old tanker. Set that. Large modern tanker, definitely. Set that. Uh, any more? I'm sure there was another one. Or at least another ship somewhere. Uh, over here. Possibly. That looks like a large old split. No it isn't, it's a medium something. Medium modern composite. Can't zoom any in any closer than that. Medium modern split? No. Medium old composite. Yes, medium old composite, that's what it is. Right, and over there we've got a sub chaser, which I'm not interested in, and a gunboat, which I'm not interested in. And that appears to be everything except for that sandpan that's behind me. So, what we're going to do first is target that large modern freighter. I'm also going to get rid of that. And I need to change course to go up. Sort of like that. Go down to one third as well. There we go. That's good. And we will stop there eventually. There we go. Right. Tube stopped. That's the sandpan, which I really do not care about. Let's go back to the targeting thing. Periscope, that's the one. That's the word I was looking for. Let's open up 6 and 5. We are going to put in the angle, which is something in that region. Range, somewhere around there. And speed, which is nothing. So, that puts it pretty much exactly where I want it to be. I fire one there, and one more towards the middle and speed it up. Right, we have no duds so far. We have contact camera. Here's the first torpedo. Hits it right in the middle. Fantastic. 
and another one towards the rear. And it is not an invincible ship because it is swaying. So, is that going to be enough? Unlikely. So, we're going to have to hit it with a third one, which is not a problem. Three torpedoes for a large modern tanker, I am more than prepared to do. We'll put one right there between both points. Here it comes. Contact camera, and... Actually went straight into the first torpedo hole, but that's fine. So, we now have a two big fires on board, which should spread. In fact, we've got one small and two large. He's also listing and sinking. So is he going to explode? Is he just going to sink? Don't know. I think he is probably just going to sink. But I'm pretty sure he is sinking. Yep, he has sunk. Good. Right then. So now we're done with that one. Oh, there's an the explosion. Thought it might be coming. Anyway, that one's now dead. So we're now interested in this medium old tanker, which I'm going to put two into. Um, pretty much the same angle. Range there. Speed, of course, nothing. And we'll put one there. And one slightly further back. Speed up the time a bit. Back to one time speed. And here comes the torpedo and contact camera. Nice big explosion, and there's the second one towards the rear. And that's the end of that one. It is most certainly all she wrote. Yes, that's one heck of an explosion. Yeah, so, down she goes. Right, that just leaves one ship right there, which I have... Is that two torpedoes left to sink? Yes, two torpedoes left to sink this one ship. Okay, well, let's set course to there. We turn to course at two-thirds. Turn around. Yes, yes, yes. Diesel engines have been repaired, which is good. We like having repaired diesel engines. It's nice when our engines work, you see. We tend to need those to get home. So, there is, I think, what was it I said it was? I don't even remember. Is it still here? Medium old composite freighter. Yeah. Right. Let's open that tube. Uh, set the angle. Somewhere around there. Range. And, of course, speed. And that is just right if I take off the spread. In fact, I want to put it right there. Fire that one. And hopefully one will do it. So I'd quite like to go back to base with a torpedo on me, or either on board. There we go, contact camera, and it looks to be pretty much exactly where I wanted it. Not far off anyway. That's a big impact, but will it be enough? It does not look like it. Now I'm fairly certain that is not going to be enough. No, he's basically ignored that. So, how long until this... Oh, that, that torpedo is not going to take long at all. Let's just speed up time a bit then. There it goes. And it is loaded. Good. Right. Back to here. And it looks like we've shifted a bit since we uh, fired that last one. But that's okay. We're going to open up number six and fire it. And away it goes. That was the last torpedo that we had. Still a bit far away. We go back to one time speed here is contact camera and it should hopefully go pretty much in the old hole now it's going to go right next to it but that should be enough anyway so what do you think of that hmm is that enough for you definitely looks like it's going down a bit Yep, I think that's enough. It does look like it's going to go down. Yep, there we go. Enemy unit destroyed. Good. Right. Okay, well that means we are now out of torpedoes. So, um, there's no point having that still on. 
Uh, how is our... Yeah, our damage is still fairly substantial. But we can deal with this. Um, batteries, hydraulic pump, we don't really need to pump right now. The diesel and electric engines, fine. Um, the batteries and the stern are the only real concern right now. So, don't want to see that. What we're going to do is remove these marks down here that I forgot about. And we're going to set a new course. We're going to go down this way, past that island, down here. And we're going to take... We get the safest or the most direct. Well, I don't have any torpedoes, so I think what we're going to do is we're going to go back up here, back the way we came. I'm not going to go that far, that close to the to the shore, because otherwise it will slow me right down. And I won't be able to go faster than like eight times speed, and that will be annoying. So what we're going to do is we're going to go up here and around the cape again, and back down here, past Sumatra, and back down by Christmas Island. Uh, back down past the Northwest Cape and to Fremantle where they can patch up all the hull damage that we've taken. So that's going to be the safe route home. Um, I know we have loads of ammo left for our deck guns but um, chances are we're going to meet stuff with guns anyway and we've already taken 32% hull damage so I've got no real reason to want to uh, to want to meet them. So we're going to go ahead and get out of here and hopefully we'll be able to go out here before the batteries run out of power and we should be fine uh, yeah the batteries are fine we'll be alright so yeah we're gonna go back home now because you know we're fucked okay we're going up to flank speed because there is a large convoy right behind me and I do not want to mess with them right now so we're going flank speed and we're gonna get the hell out of here we're under attack but I have no choice but to try and just outrun them um, which is not working too well got the battle stations how much damage have we taken uh, a fair deal uh, and we're being shot at by these destroyers which are behind me which I can barely even see in fact that I can't see unless we're being shot from over there which is also a possibility oh yeah we're being shot from over there now, what is that I have no clue what that is. Ow. That sounded painful. Do we have holes in the outside of the ship? If we do, which we do. A big one right there. Another one, another one there. Yeah, that's not good. Okay. We need to get out of here as quickly as possible. And I think we may make it. But, yeah, that's going to be really close. 61% um, hull damage, really not good. How are my... oh, my damage control team are all injured, that's great. That's just perfect. Um, batteries damaged, diesel engines damaged. Ah, no, not good, not good at all. But we're not flooding. Oh, 72% hull damage. Ah, oh, 81, this guy is hitting the shit out of me. How far away is he? Six miles away. I don't care about the radar. Fuck the radar. We want... What do we want? The bulkhead. No, not that. Give me the bulkhead. Let me get the bulkhead up there. Bulkhead first. Then the diesel engine. Bulkhead first. That. Right. Diesel engine diesel engine yeah, fix the fucking engines damn we must have like masses of holes yeah we look like Swiss cheese right now we really do I think we may be out of range now though so yeah that was a lucky escape um, yeah that that's what gunboats can do gunboats can be vicious if you're on the surface and out of range or out of range for you anyway I mean, I could have shot at him, but the chances of me hitting were next to nothing. Oh, no, no, we're still in range. <laughs> yeah, we're still getting shot at. Great. Um, go away, please. Um, yeah, in fact, what I'm going to do is I'm going to set a course like that to give him the smallest target possible. 
We're still under attack, not great, really not great. We're still under attack, okay, yeah, this is not good at all. 93%, great, um, where is... I need to fix the bulkhead, where is it? Bulkhead's been repaired, okay, good. Well, at least we're not sinking. What the hell actually is shooting at me? Is it this guy up here? Because he is miles away. Yeah, he's nearly 10 miles away. How the hell can he be hitting me from 10 miles away? But, yeah, we have lots of holes in this ship. Um, yeah. And we have 93% hull damage. Deck gun repaired. Alright, we're getting stuff repaired now. I don't see any more shell explosions or anything, so we may have just gotten away with that. We can see that the birds think that I'm a goner, um, but I think we're okay. Is that a, yeah, that's a big hole right there. Yeah, so basically the problem is, if we even get touched by something right now, we're going to die. Uh, right, let's get over there, because I don't think we're being shot anymore. We are going full speed though, and I think our full speed is about the same speed as that convoy behind us. But as long as we don't hit anything in front of us that's got any kind of gun on it whatsoever, we should be okay. Um, yeah, because we have we have no bulkhead damage right now, and no flooding. Uh, I need to fix the engines, then the battery. Battery next. Diesel for engines first, then the batteries. Then the electric, electric engine. So diesel, engine, batteries. Do the batteries get fixed? Looks like it. Find the hydraulic pump. Get the hydraulic pump fixed. Uh, but the batteries first. Not oh, diesel engine first, actually. Yeah, that was some that was some serious damage we took. Um, I think this guy may be dead. I think Eric C. Simmons is actually dead. Which is a shame, but he's not overly important. I mean, he's, he's got 56 guns, so he is pretty good. But we will live without him. So, yeah, hopefully he's the only real casualty of that misadventure. Oh, and good, that uh, that convoy is going away. Okay, well, I'm still going to leave it on flank speed, because I want to get the hell away from there. But I think we are alive and safe and going to get away. So, yeah, that was stupidly close. We're down to 93% hull damage. Another 7%, and this sub is going down. So, yeah, safe route, good plan. Right, well, we are uh, just opposite Penang. We've been through the Strait of Malacca, and we've been plane dodging. Um, I was a bit concerned going down underwater the first time, but um, uh, we can go to periscope depth without sinking, so that's good. Um, right in front of us, we've got a uh, couple of sandpans, and I have actually let some sandpans go. That's how concerned I was uh, about the hull. However, these guys are literally right on top of us, so I can't in all good conscience let them go so I'm just gonna go and kill them because you know that's what I have to do it's the law when seeing sandpans must shoot with 40 mil AA gun it's just the law so there should only be two of them that should be the first one and that should be the second one and I don't think there's any more so yeah let's have a look at the damage to this boat here we've got a, a hole on that side no okay we've got one hole there one hole there and there, one below the waterline down here. I think that's the only one below the waterline we've got. Yeah, it is. Uh, we've got another one up here, right in front of the uh, the deck gun. And I think there's one up here somewhere. Yeah, it looks like there's one right there. So we've got like seven holes in our ship. And um, basically, if we get shot by anything, we will die. <laughs> so yeah, I've been avoiding merchants and uh, 
and warships and sampans and everything really um, but as they were coming right at me I thought I'd sink them so hopefully next time you see me we'll, we'll, he will be uh, in Fremantle um, otherwise next time you see me the ship will be sinking and that will be the end of the let's play but um, I'm hoping from here on out we've got fairly clear seas so we'll see okay well we have made it we are 125 miles out from Fremantle and um, while it may be a little bit early at the moment to say we have made it I think we are fairly safe now uh, that's the destroyers that are going to protect us and we're going to come in at night time which is nice under the cover of night as they say and um, knowing my luck we're going to collide with whatever that is coming right in front of me but um, we'll see I guess it's not very far away so uh, yeah we may have to take some evasive action here no, no, we're fine. He's going to pass long before we get there. Whatever he is. So, we're pretty close now. There we go. Right. Refit. Because I do not want to have to reload all of my torpedoes manually. Did I turn off? Yes, I did. Ah, oh, damn it. Reload all of them. Go on, reload. You know what to do with torpedoes. And then refit again. Voila! Right, now we're going to end patrol because our submarine looks like Swiss cheese. So we had to insert the agent at Penang and we did a photo recon of Singapore. Both of those we completed. We sunk 16 merchant ships and two warships for a grand total of 42,676 tons, which is a fairly low scoring um, patrol for us, but seeing as though my submarine is nearly dead, I'm quite happy to get back in time and we got our 11th Congressional Medal of Honor. What the hell? Oh, okay, we got a Purple Heart and a Congressional Medal of Honor. Sweet! So we got another another sub, uh, another medal to go in our box. That's good. Yeah, 15th War Patrol, we got a Purple Heart, so apparently we got injured at some point. Um, not really surprised, to be honest, because we were pretty the much Gilbert's dead. Bacon, our next objective in the Central Pacific area is the Marshall's Archipelago. The offensive started with our land-based bombs, hitting Kwajalein and Waje Atolls. The 5th Carrier Fleet is moving from Hawaii towards Marshall Islands, while Task Force 58, located southeast of the Marshalls, is already pounding Japanese airfields to pieces. Once the Marshalls are taken, the next objective will be the Carolines. The big plan is to shatter the Japanese resistance in the entire Central Pacific area as fast as possible. To be able to move further north, towards Japanese homeland. Submarine patrols will be increased in order to cripple Japanese supply lines and troop transports in Central Pacific. Any success against enemy shipping will affect the enemy garrisons in the Marshall and Caroline Islands and thus support the respective invasions of those islands. Sounds good to me. So, January 5th, 1944. We are in the second to last year of the war. We have uh, gotten far farther than I ever thought we would. And now we have another another medal over here, which uh, is apparently the Submarine Service Medal, which is what it should be. Uh, that's the Victory Cross, that's the Congressional Medal of Honor, and that is the Patrol Star. However, because we have uh, the U-boat missions installed, it's changed them all around. So the Purple Heart is now the Congressional Medal of Honor, and the Submarine Medal is now the Purple Heart. Which is a bit weird, but never mind. So we have 11 Congressional Medals of, medals of Honor, a Purple Heart, two silver stars and a navy cross which is frankly amazing did that guy die i'm pretty sure he's dead seeing as though he hasn't recovered so i think well he's got zero efficiency so i'm gonna have to get rid of this guy because he's dead which is a shame but never mind Right, so we need a good gunner. Uh, he's got 35, 30, 35, 28, 18, 27, 28, 11. And, right, okay, so you want the 35 gunner. Is there are two 35s or just one? There's two of them. Uh, well, Talbot H. Abelli. He is the better of the two. So. We'll get him for the four-gun deck. Oh, actually, 
he has put the uh, efficiency right up. So yeah, that was good. Unless of course I can get this guy, which would be awesome. Too many officers. I was expecting that. Right, I can't promote anyone. Ah, someone can have a purple heart. Who's getting the purple heart? I think the guy who has medic is going to get the purple heart because, frankly, he's awesome. Uh, right, now we've got three bronze stars. Who hasn't got a bronze star? The new guy. Well, he's not getting one yet. Um, my control room team, my damage control team, I think, probably deserve them. But, no. I'm going to be a dick and give them to my torpedo room teams. And I'm going to give one to my deck watch hmm, or control room or maybe I should start on the aft torpedo room, I just don't know um, I'm going to give it to that deck watch guy who's got the special ability now silver star a silver star is going to the leader of the damage control team and I said I was going to give one to someone must have been this guy in the aft torpedo room okay Right, so you now have 41,356 Renown, which is nuts. Uh, I don't think we're ever going to be able to spend that much. Uh, we have all the upgrades possible. We have a full complement of Mark 23 Torpedo. What the hell is that? Mark 27 Cutie Torpedo. It's a homing torpedo. Now that is very cool. Um, it's electric, has a long range, but is very slow. It's a homing torpedo. Um, well, it only goes 12 knots, so most ships will be able to outrun that. Hmm. Um, that does give me pause for thought, because it's a homing torpedo. It's a homing torpedo. Um, no, I'm not going to take those homing torpedoes, even though it's electric, so it has no trail behind it. Um, it's just too slow. These go 46 knots, and that's just 12, and no. So, we now have a new member of our crew, Talbot H. Adbelli, and hopefully he will have uh, a longer life than the guy who him, whom he replaced. I've forgotten his name already. Just goes to show how much my crew means to me. And our score is 1,300,000... No, <laughs> what am I saying? It's uh, 1,035,000... 990 uh, yeah so we've broken the 1 million ton barrier um, I have to say that I am very pleased with this um, it is the first time I've ever breached 1 million tons um, and as far as I know or I've never seen anyone have a higher score than that I'm sure there are people who have, have, have a score, higher score than that don't get me wrong, I'm not saying I'm the best in the world ever, I'm just saying that I've never seen anyone with a higher score. I'm sure that you do, and if you do, don't bother telling me that you do, unless, you know, you really want to rub it in. Um, but yes, over a million tons, I'm very happy. That was the sixth patrol of the USS Baleo. Unfortunately, we did lose a man, uh, but we also got a Purple Heart and another Congressional Medal of Honor, so kind of evens it out. So yeah, hope you enjoyed this episode. Hope you're pleased with the uh, the massive tonnage that we've managed to accrue so far. And uh, see you for episode 7 and see if we can uh, not get quite so close to dying that time. <laughs>